Welcome to Tautland, everybody. It's an archipelago that's made up of 35 islands that are ruled over by one of the four emperors of the sea, Charlotte Linlin, Big Mom herself. The Straw Hats had to invade this area in order to get back Sanji, which makes it the first place in the entire series that we really get to see completely controlled by a Yonko, really setting the stage for just how powerful an emperor of the sea really is. Not just an emperor in the figurative sense, but literally a ruler, a queen in this case, of an entire country. All these islands are directly under Big Mom's thumb, so getting in and getting out is a very difficult task that was only previously rivaled by the King of the Pirates, Goldie Roger himself. All of the islands in the Totland area are made up or themed after food in some way, shape, or form. We don't know every single island, or rather Oda just hasn't revealed them all yet, but in this video I'll be taking a look at the ones that we do know in their entirety. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of full diabetesation. Come with me to Totland, where we'll cringe the entire nation. Okay, so Totland explained. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. Like, pause the video. Be like, okay. Holy shit, teching, it's too early for this, or too late for this, whatever time zone you're watching this in right now. Okay, you, you're good? Alright, okay. Um, this is gonna be a video explaining Totland in its entirety. Well, not really in its entirety, because Totland is consisting of 35 islands. The main island, Whole Cake Island, along with 34 islands that form that archipelago around it. There's islands that we have actually seen, like that are named. There's other islands that don't have a name, but we've seen. And then there are ministers, that there's one minister for each island. There's ministers of islands we haven't seen yet. Like, for instance, Opera was the minister of whipped cream before Big Mom ripped out his soul and, you know, Opera is most likely dead right now. So he was the minister of whipped cream, but we actually haven't seen the island that he governs. Basically taking all these clues together, I've basically compiled a list of 25 islands total out of all of Tauntland, including Whole Cake. So that still leaves us 10 islands that we just don't know anything about. Uh, we don't know, you know, who the minister of them are. We don't know what they're named. We don't know what their food theme is. Uh, all the islands in Tauntland are based around food. Um, that's, that's kind of the thing Big Mom's trying to go for here. Um, and it's it's also a practical sense because Big Mom has these hunger pangs constantly. Uh, she could desire like any food at any time and she'll go on a rampage until she gets it. But because of all these islands and their varying specialties, they can create whatever food that Big Mom desires at the drop of a hat. Uh, any confectionery, any baked good, and you know, it's not even all about uh, the, the, the bad stuff. It's not all about desserts. Uh, there are islands in Totland that are focused on like actual healthy foods like Fruits Island and, and Potato Island. Potatoes, you know, you, you immediately think like french fries and stuff that's like really high in like cholesterol and stuff, but potatoes could be, could be good for you, you know, they're veggies. Um, Big Mom probably stays away from those islands for the most part. She may, maybe like once a year, Big Mom will be like, okay, what's, what's the report going on at Fruits Island? He's like, well, Mama, the apples are coming in. I was like, I, was like, I don't care. Let's go to Butter Island now. See what's going on there. Um, so yeah, a lot of different islands here, 25 of them. When we find out more, I would like to think that Oda has at least planned out what all the islands are going to be. I like to think Oda has like a notebook filled with like, okay, I'm going to write out what all the islands look like and, and, and what they're all called and who's the minister of each island. It's just whether or not he's going to use it in the actual story um, and I think somebody even asked him a question about that and Oda replied with like well there's so many islands in Tauntland I don't know if I'm going to show them all because they're all so many interesting designs um, most of them were seen whenever uh, Big Mom was in the middle of her hunger pang wanting the, the wedding cake and you know she was chasing the straw hats all around Tauntland and she was you know attacking various islands and various islands you know we cut to them we just see the people there terrified of what's going to happen to their country um, that's where we got to see most of them and it was really just like a shot of the island and maybe like, oh, here's here's uh, Ice Island and Sherbert Town. And that's pretty much all we got. But it was interesting that Oda at least showed us the diversity of this nation. You know, he could have just honestly, most of this arc was set on Whole Cake Island. And I feel like in the hands of a lesser writer, you know, OK, this is an archipelago full of 35 islands. But I'm only going to show you like, you know, two or three and, and only two or three were really relevant to the story. How many islands were really relevant to the story? Cacao Island, 
that was really important. Uh, that was where the Straw Hats first arrived, and that's where, like, the, um, the epic showdown occurred. You had Whole Cake Island, which was the home base of Big Mom, where most of the arc took place, and the Germa and everything, the tea party. And then, uh, like, Puffs Island, you could say, because Puffs Island is where the cake was dropped off at. Beyond that, we really didn't need to know or care about any of the other islands, but Oda gave them to us. But yeah, uh, and oh, in case you can't wait, in case you're just really curious about what the other islands of Tautland are, um, it, it took a long time, and don't ask me all the stuff I had to do. I had to swim through a, a sea of cream and some other strange white substance, but I managed to acquire an actual full map of Tautland in its entirety. This was really hard to get my hands on, alright, so I hope you appreciate it. Okay, so let's start off with the main island of Totland, Whole Cake Island, right in the center. Uh, Whole Cake is the home base of Big Mom. It has Whole Cake Chateau, where Big Mom's, like, chambers are located. Right below that is Sweet City. You also have the Seducing Woods, which are ruled over by Brulee. And it's also possible, because Whole Cake Island is so much bigger than the other islands in Totland, maybe other members of the Charlotte family that are not ministers maybe control certain sections of the island. Like, I think the Seducing Woods were located on the eastern side of the island, um, and Brulee controlled all of that, so maybe like different members of, of Charlotte family like like the western, northern, south, and eastern parts of the island with Big Mom controlling the chateau and then Sweet City which is like right in the center. It's also like the meeting point for all of the different ministers and the members of the family when they come together like there's a conference room and everything so for them to, you know, discuss their plans of what's going to happen in the in the, uh, in the the territory um, this is where like the Sweet Commanders gather and all that stuff so very important main island here. Um, it was the original island that Big Mom actually created Totland at. Um, back uh, 63 years ago, uh, Mother Caramel relocated the Sheep's House from Elbaf to this island. Of course, I don't think it had a name back then. It was just a normal archipelago. Um, you can tell that it's the same island because there's very distinctive hills in the background. Uh, not only on Whole Cake, but I think also on like other islands in Totland. Like, I know Puffs Island has them as well. Um, you can tell because of these hills that it's the same archipelago that Big Mom and Struson were on 63 years ago. Through the combination of Big Mom's soul soul no me that she got from Mother Caramel, the ability to create homies, and Struson's Kiku Kiku no me, which allows him to turn inanimate objects into any ingredient that he desires, they basically terraformed all these islands to exhibit um, the type of food that they're based off of. Whole Cake Island obviously is based off of pie. No, obviously it's a cake. Although, I don't think there's a pie island. We should add that to one of the ten that are left. There's definitely a pie island. You've seen Big Mom. Oh yeah, there is definitely a pie island. But anyway, yeah, it's a cake. A uh, giant cake. However, Big Mom states that whatever uh, Struson turns into an ingredient using his devil fruit powers might be able to create as much food as he wants, um, depending on what his raw materials are. However, the taste is horrible. So if you're ever wondering why when Big Mom was in her massive, like, you know, rage trying to find wedding cake, why she just didn't eat the the actual cake that makes up the chateau um, it's because the ingredients suck it, and also some of it is actually not real cake some of it is and some of it isn't it, it depends with Totland like those trees that look like candles no they're just trees with leaves that are like you know orange and red but you figure with Struson's devil fruit ability and with all the other islands you, part of this cake is definitely edible you got to figure that right so uh, that's whole cake island I don't want to gloss over it but at the same time I got 24 other islands to get to today um, it's the main island that takes place on the majority of Totland takes place there the Ark so go check it out um, but yeah that, that's pretty much everything major about whole cake right there so next we have Cacao Island Cacao Island is also the probably the second most important island in the entire Ark it's an island that's actually on the perimeter of Totland and this was an island that was ruled over by Lola back when she was a member of the family before she defected after the whole Loki incident also interesting to note um, and, and it's not exactly known hundred percent because we don't know the ages of like every single member of the family but from the ages that we do know and based on like the number of childs that they are um, Lola and Chiffon being twin sisters are actually the youngest ministers in Totland that we're aware of um, so I think Lola and, and Chiffon I think they're like 25 26 years old and uh, every other minister that we're aware of is, is much older than that it, obviously it makes sense that the older members of the family would be the ministers and the rulers of an island the younger ones you know like the, the 
children, the teenagers, they wouldn't be able to be good ministers and stuff. Um, Pudding was discussed to be the next minister of chocolate because I think she was living on Cacao Island. I think that was her home base, really. Um, and maybe after the events of Totland, after she's well known now throughout Totland as the savior making the cake to satiate Big Mom, um, maybe she might very well take up the position as the minister of chocolate for Cacao Island there. Um, you have Chocolate Town, and this is like the first island that, that the Straw Hats arrive at, and we really get the rules of this place. How if as long as the uh, the chocolate is not like private property, like is if it's like a house or something, you can't just go up and eat somebody's house. But if it's in like the public street, you're allowed to eat it. Also, other artisans from other islands like you could have like somebody from the gumdrop island make gumdrops for cacao island for like benches or stuff you know and you're not allowed to eat those you're only allowed to eat the substance uh that you're on right now like the island so you're only allowed to eat the chocolate parts of cacao island of chocolate town I, I brought this up before, and there's, you know, it's anime, it's magic or whatever, so you could probably just, you know, write it off, but why would you want to live in an island filled with, like, why would you want to live in a town, I should say, filled with chocolate? Chocolate sidewalks, chocolate benches, chocolate houses, chocolate fountain. Oh man, it's a great day in chocolate town. The sun is, is shining in the sky. The sun is shining in the sky over chocolate town do i need to explain to you the issue with this go watch the uh go go watch charlie and the chocolate factory and you could like the first 10 minutes of it and you could figure out where this is going but yeah who knows maybe big mom uses her her weather altering abilities or creates a homey or does something maybe the climate is it's it's the new world after all it's a very weird climate so maybe like the bugs just stay away from this place oh god the bugs alone would be horrible in, in any of these islands but yeah that that's cacao island there of course it's also the site of the main uh battle though the final battle again Against, uh, the Straw Hats and the Big Mom Pirates, you know, this is where Oven gathers and, and, and smacks down uh, Pound, and you had the Germa arriving, and all these battleships, and it's a war zone right now. It's a, it's a lot of melted chocolate at this place. They might have to repair this place before, um, you know, it, it's up and running again, before Pudding might take over as the Minister of Chocolate, okay? Um, next up, we have Jam Island. Uh, this is an island that one, one of the many ones get ready for these uh, running running themes that we really don't know anything about other than the fact that it's, it's, it's named named Jam Island, so obviously it's based around Jam, and we know a basic layout of it. We've seen, like, the image of it, like, one time. Um, the island is basically giant mason jars filled with jam. Makes sense. There's also a jelly island. Now, I'm not a chef. I'm not a baker, okay? But, um, is there a difference between jelly or jam? There's, there's a bunch of people out there right now that are like, the, not even, not even cooks, not, you don't even have to be in culinary school, there's probably a lot of people out there like, yes, yes, teching, there's a difference between jams and jelly, maybe one you have to like, you know, like, like, is it just like, you know, grapes and stuff that you just press and then put in a jar and like, that's jam and maybe jelly is something manufactured, I, I don't know, man, I don't know, I just know that it's good on toast. Making toast! <sighs> there's no toast island either, add that, add toast, okay. Um, but yeah, there, there's Jam Island. We don't know the minister. It's just one of the islands that is uh, part of that, that secret route that Pudding laid out for the Straw Hats to arrive at Whole Cake. Uh, because each of these islands is magnetically charged with the, the log pose. Um, but you need to follow a certain path in order to get to Whole Cake. Otherwise, it's maybe like a maze to like screw with uh, trespassers to the island. Like You couldn't just get to the island and sail straight to, to Whole Cake. Um, you would have to follow your log pose or else you're going to get lost. Totland is really big. I don't want you to think like this is just an isolated little area like you like here's whole cake at the center and you can like look at the top of whole cake you could see like cacao off to the distance no like you, in, in order to travel from like whole cake to out of big mom's territory it took the straw hats like the better part of like oh it took like over a day I think the first time when they were just coming in but leaving you know at top speed like using coup de burst and with the help of the fishmen and everything it still took well over like 15 16 hours to get out of her territory using the sunny so um yeah you you really i mean it's it's a big area right um so you could you could get lost very easily or maybe there's like a route that'll just leave you on like a loop just looping around totland until you're eventually captured so you need to have a specific like how to follow which log post to get to whole cake so yeah that's jam Moving on to Nuts Island, and uh, Nuts Island is home of Peanuts Town, and this giant, adorable little homie that's a giant peanut that watches over the island. 
<laughs> get used to that also. A lot of giant homies that are in the shape of food watching everything you do. Imagine being a teenager on Nuts Island, and you're in your house one day, and you're thinking, I want to, you know, look up some... <laughs> <laughs> with the, the One Piece version of X-Tube, which would be probably much better because you have people like, you know, like all the females in One Piece are extremely attractive. You, you, you look up that, and you get ready to go, and then you look out your window, and there's this giant, like, 50-story peanut just like, Ooh -hoo -hoo! Someone hails their nuts out! Like, uh -uh. <laughs> It'd be horrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> There's everything is inanimate. Everything is animated in this place. It's very weird. Okay, but um, Yeah, okay, so th aside from that point um Amande the third daughter of the Charlotte family and also a member of the the, the snake neck tribe She is actually the minister of um, Nuts Island and Amande I think is uh, it might be French for almond I, I think it is maybe it's some other language I know it means almond, but I don't know what language exactly I was actually confused at first because I thought um, the nuts a torte guy who's named after a, a pastry filled with nuts He was the 12th son the guy that looks like Captain Crunch. I thought he would have been the original you know he would be the minister of nuts because he kind of looks like a peanut already but uh, no it's a Monday so yeah also after the devastation this is one of the islands that Big Mom ravaged during her hunger pain so after the uh, after that attack you see a bunch of like really sad kids people are crying the giant peanut is like cracked in half um, there's like other peanut mascots like consoling the children of the island like it'll be okay little Billy we'll get our nuts fixed up nicely and we'll get we'll get mr. giant peanut up there mr. nut will get him all, all patched up, everything will be just the way it is, you know? And even Amande's off to the side, they're looking all in gloom, like, ah, oh, crap, I'm gonna have to fix a lot of these tonight, you know? Like, okay, so that's that. Uh, moving on to, okay, this is another one that seems to have, like, two islands that seem like the exact same thing. You have Cheese Island, which is uh, an island that was referenced during that secret route, and the, the Cheese Island minister is uh, Mont Dor, who is the 19th son of the family, and as you can figure, Cheese Island has, well, lots of cheese, but then also you have Milk Island, which is focused not only around milk, but also cheese as well, and also, like, burgers and stuff like that. Like, there's a giant burger on this island that watches everything. Okay, guys, pop quiz! When you're jerking off, would you rather have it be found out by a giant animated peanut or a giant animated Big Mac? They're both not great choices, but whatever. Not, not even like going to that route, but just like everything you do in your daily life is being observed by a giant food stuff. Like, not, you don't even have to go to that, to that level with it. Just like everything you do. Like, you're, you're walking down the street. And let's say somebody drops their wallet in front of you, and you think, oh, oh, I'm gonna, you're, you're sitting there holding the wallet for a second, and you think, maybe I should keep this, but then you turn around and the giant burger's like, ho, 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 ho. Sorry, you dropped your wallet! You know, these people must live in constant terror. Like, they're, they're constantly being observed by not just the homies, they're being observed by Big Mom, because the homies work for Big Mom, you know? So that's actually kind of, of like a dystopian 1984 Esque, uh, uh, esque story there. Uh, basically, just think of 1984, except uh, it, it's Candyland, and instead of that dark, you know, Big Brother is watching you, Big Mac is watching you. That's that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, so th that was weird. You know, Milk Island and Cheese Island, they seem like the same thing. I, I guess Cheese Island is focused pretty much entirely just actual blocks of cheese like there's provolone mountain and there's there's swiss tunnel get it because it's swiss you could drive right through it you know so that that's all it's based on there and then milk island is more focused on just dairy products in general um so you have milk as well as with cheese just included there uh, i would assume okay fine um anyway also mont d'or minor caveat i might be doing a video on him because the book book know me pretty interesting power also today is april 23rd, which is World Book Day, and while I was doing research for this video earlier, I found out it's actually Mont Dore's birthday also, um, World Book Day, so thanks, th th thanks Mont Dore for the gift of books, like, you know, he looks like an asshole, but you, he's probably, like, going around to all the islands of Totland and delivering books to all the children, I mean, so, okay, at least he, he, he might be horrible, but at least he's, uh, you know, at least he's promoting, you know, reading, read across Totland, you know, all right, what's next? Uh, we have Biscuits Island, and Biscuits Island is, of course, ruled over by Cracker, who's also a sweet commander. All of the sweet commanders are also ministers. 
and we don't know about Snack. Uh, Snack was Snack was kind of even when he was a sweet commander. It's kind of weird because all the sweet commanders we know so far, uh, Katakuri is the second son. Smoothie is the fourteenth daughter. Um, Cracker is the tenth son. Those are the three right now. And then we had Snack, who is like the twenty-fifth son. So he seemed like a lot younger than all the other sweet commanders. Um, so he might have been a minister. He might have not have been. We don't know. Um, after he was defeated by a rouge, he was no longer made a sweet commander, and uh, maybe he was, if he was a minister, maybe he was knocked down from that position as well. I, I don't know. Uh, but with the case with Biscuits Island, yeah, Cracker is the one that rules over that island. Next up, we have Candy Island, which is located very close to Whole Cake, and it makes sense because Candy Island's minister is Pero Sparrow, the first son of the Charlotte family. Uh, we don't get to see the island, but we get to see just like a little brief layout of it, so there's like lollipops everywhere. Uh, you know, Pero Sparrow is, you know, the oldest son so he's probably been the minister of that for probably the longest time, uh, and it's very close to Whole Cake, as well as with Fruits Island as well. Fruits Island is uh, ruled over by the first daughter of the family, Compote, um, so that, that makes sense why like, the first children would be so close there. Um, moving on next, we have uh, Flavor Island. This is an island that we have not seen. It was just mentioned offhand, I think, by Beige. Um, no idea what this would mean, Flavor Island, because flavor is, of course, just the sensation of, you know, eating or drinking something, so it it could literally be anything. It could be maybe like their miscellaneous island. Like they had all the, uh, they had the first 34 islands and then they're like, okay, well, what are we going to do for the last island in Totland? We only have one island left. All right, we'll just make it a, 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 a smorgasbord, a, a hodgepodge of just every single like delicious thing ever, like just a miscellaneous island, but we can't call it that because that's kind of lame, so just call it Flavor Island. That might be that. Have no idea who the minister of uh, Flavor Island is. Liquor Island! Now, this is an island you have to be 21 in order to access. Um, they take that pretty seriously. You know, you can say what you want about Big Mom, but she... You know, drink responsibly. That's her catchphrase. She's never actually said it, but, you know, she definitely supports it. Uh, we've also haven't really seen, like, if we had, like, one of the members of the Charlotte family that was, like, a heavy drinker, like, going around, like, glug, 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 you could just say, oh, he's obviously the minister of Liquor Island. But we haven't seen anybody like that, so I like to think that there is a Charlotte family member that's a big, heavy drinker. Um, he or she was just passed out the entire time when the Straw Hats were doing their whole thing. Uh, Liquor Island was originally going to be the island. They were going to drop off the cake but it was a little bit too close to uh, the straw hats like uh, trying to escape so chiffon says let's not drop it off there let's 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 go a little further to, sh to puffs island and then drop off the cake there instead that'll give the straw hats a better chance to get away liquor island is obviously a place that's filled with a bunch of uh, whiskey bottles rum beer cans you know it's just giant island there um, that would be that would be kind of a trippy place to live at I wonder if the whole like if you animate a whiskey bottle like Jack Daniels with uh with, with the soul soul no me and make it a, a homie I wonder if it would just be inherently drunk like you don't know who I am I'm freaking homie uh but yeah that that, that would be an interesting place to kind of see the the, the uh, liquor island how that operates there uh next up we have um let's see here uh oh Komugi Island what Komugi Komugi Whatever. Anyway, uh, no, this is uh, this is Wheat Island, and it's home to Flower Town, and the minister of this place, as you could probably figure, with the giant donut that... I don't know if the donut is actually a homie. It probably is. Okay, so now you have a giant donut watching you do whatever. Uh, the minister is Kata Curry, because of Kata Curry's legendary love for donuts. Uh, that, that's, of course, his, his home territory here. He leaves this island to go to, you know, Whole Cake for the wedding and everything. So we only really see this island when, once again, Big Mom was chasing people around. Um, but yeah, it looks like a pretty, pretty nice place to live. I, I would imagine you'd be coughing a lot on this island if there's flour everywhere. One time when I was at work once, we got a bunch of flour off the truck and it just comes, it doesn't come in a box or anything. It's just like, like eight uh, bags of flour all wrapped up in cellophane and uh, it, it was on this uh, this this thing this wheel thing you know bringing it off down the truck and it caught the side of it and it's metal and it ripped it and flour just went everywhere. I'm just like a bomb went off. Just, <laughs> You know, and just... <laughs> so, I'm imagining that's what it's like sometimes uh, in Flower Island. Moving on, we also have Pori Pori Island, which is uh, the third son of the family. Uh, Daifuku is the minister of. And then Pori Pori Island is Crunchy Island, and it's home to, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, Mame Mame Town, which is literally translated to, like, Bean Bean Town, or, like, Beanie Bean Town. 
Yeah, okay. You Do you want to live in Beanie Bean Town? You know, honestly, in one of the places, that would be actually okay. You know, Chocolate Town, that would be melting all over the place. Flour, you got coughing everywhere. Liquor Island, people drunk assholes walking around all the time. But, um, Pori Pori Island living in Beanie Bean Town, you know, okay, I like beans. Beans are cool. You know, green beans. Uh, my friend Casey is a vegan, and, and she made some uh, lima beans once for, for, like, a vegan dinner thing, and, and those were those were tolerable. Okay. <laughs> Pork and beans are good. All right, now we're just, now we're just like, Teching 101 rattles off different names of beans. Okay, can we just... Okay, Daifuku is the minister. Okay, great, moving on. Right, so next we have Yakigashi Island, uh, the minister of brown food oven. The fourth son of the family rules over Yakigashi, and uh, Yakigashi just means baked goods in Japanese. Uh, this is where plump town or fluffy town is located as if something like rising like a souffle like you put something in the oven and it's like rising dough so that's the term there um next up we have uh, funwari island or puffs island which i actually have an artist's interpretation of this was part of the sock puppet theater i did one time and uh, I, I basically just this is uh from the drawing uh, of the uh, island that we see in the manga i basically try to recreate it as much as possible here and once again we have those very distinctive hills in the background there um giant souffles i, I have no idea what these things are um they look delicious like maybe like an eclair or some probably like like eclairs or something so that's puffs island the minister of puffs island is chiffon or i guess it should say it was chiffon because now she left with beige and she defected and she's a traitor so they're probably gonna have to find another um minister of puffs island it's also home to this cat girl who may be a mink or might just be into some kinky cat stuff i don't know which but I'm hoping Oda explains later in an SBS somewhere. So that, that's Puffs Island. Next up is Jelly Island. I already mentioned this with Jam. Uh, we don't know anything about Jelly Island. Uh, sometimes I wonder if, if we're, like, confusing them together, like if Jam and Jelly or Milk and Cheese are, like, the same island. Um, but whatever, yeah, we have Jelly Island. Next up is a weird one. It's Millens Island. And this was shown, we, we haven't really seen the island, but we saw it uh, in one of the maps that Chiffon had. We saw a few islands there, uh, such as Millens and Rokumitsu Island. However, Roku Mitsu actually means something. Millants, at least from what I've seen looking around, this this is something that's like not translated yet, or they don't know what it is, or what it means, or it's not Japanese. I, I don't know what the hell. What is millants? What the hell is a millants? I've never eaten a millants in my life. I've never heard of this term. Maybe you could say like like mincing, like the process of like mincing up like meat or something like that. So maybe it's like a meat-based island. Um, is there a meat-based island? There is no meat-based island. You, I, I, there probably is. It's probably the one of the ones that we didn't see, or it might very well be Millen's Island. But man, Luffy, Oda, you missed out your opportunity there. You could have had a moment where Luffy arrived on a meat island. Damn, that would have been fine. Okay, yeah. But anyway, yeah. We, I don't know anything about Millen's. It's just there. It exists. Uh, this could also be a mistranslation on Oda's part because he wrote the islands on the map in English and we all know that L's and R's in Japanese, they could be confused. So maybe it's not Millens, maybe it's Murrents, which still means absolutely, it's, that's, that's nonsense, that's gibberish. So I don't know, if someone wants to crack the case on Millens Island, let me know. Rokumitsu is next, and Rokumitsu seems to be a play on Hachimitsu, which just means honey, and, and so it's, you know, Hachi means eight, but Roku means six, so it, it, it's basically like honey, that's what the joke is, so it's Honey Island. Don't know the minister of that island either, but it makes a lot more sense than Millens. Um, next up is Ice Island, which is one of the ones I was really excited for, because I thought, like, Ice Island was gonna be this place that was gonna be, um, you know, like, like a winter island, and it's gonna be like a bunch of frozen dinners, or like a giant frozen mountain with like ice cream on it, like a giant ice cream homie watching everybody. Um, I wasn't exactly wrong. There is a giant lump of ice cream that's at the center of the island, but I wasn't exactly right when I thought it was a winter island because it seems like um, Oda took the whole chilling out on a nice summer beach, having like some sherbet to cool you down. He took that angle with it because there's like palm trees and stuff, and it's like still a kind of like a tropical kind of island, but it's based around ice and uh, like ice cream and sherbet, and sherbet town is, is the town located on it so go figure how that works how the ice cream does not melt um but yeah i wonder if when big mom turns like an ice cream cone into a homie then it would become immune from melting i, I don't think it would because you know the, the homies like if a homie is made of wood 
it would still be, like, susceptible to catching fire. It doesn't, like, remove that. So, interesting. Ice Island, though. A little bit disappointing compared to what I was expecting, but still a pretty cool layout for an island. Um, once again, we haven't really seen any member of the Charlotte family that's focused around, like, ice or snow. Like, if we saw a member of the Charlotte family walking around with, like, a thick fur coat or something, I would say, oh, that's the minister of Ice Island. But we just haven't seen it, so we don't know. Uh, next up is, uh, let's see, Cutlery Island, and this is kind of a weird one. Instead of focusing Focusing on a food, it's based off of something that uh, you serve food on, like, you know, something related to food. So basically, this is probably the island where all of the, the cooking equipment is made, all of the spatulas and the forks and the spoons and the ultimate um, utensil ever, the spork. Uh, the it, it, Table Town is located here, so I love that. And all the other islands you could live on, like, at least one thing they would smell nice, you know, living on Chocolate Island, like, oh, the aroma of cocoa everywhere I go. But then you get to Table Town, and it's just, like, a bunch of, like, sawdust everywhere. These, these, uh, blacksmiths and these, these woodcrafters are creating the best utensils for all of Totland. Um, yeah, so that's that. We also see an animated little spoon homie there, so that, that was kind of cute. And, um, yeah, so, hey, you have to have an island focused on that, I guess. Um, don't know the uh, minister of uh, Cutlery Island. Next up is uh, a, a random potato island that we haven't actually got a name of. Um, we just see it. There's french fries. It's obviously based off potatoes. A can of Pringles is just hanging out there. Um, so, yeah, interesting there. It's just one of the random islands that I think Luffy was running past uh, during Big Mom's Outrage. Um, and I think that's all of the islands that we've actually seen and we've actually been named, like have been name dropped at least. Just want to do one more check. Yeah, that's all of them. Now, the next uh, the next four islands that I have on here, we haven't seen. We don't know what they're named, but we know that there's a member of the Charlotte family that's a minister, and we know their title. Like, Opera is the Minister of Whipped Cream, but none of these islands, you know, match, you know, cream or anything like that. So I would assume that Opera is the Minister of Cream Island, so that would have to be a new island. Next up is Moscato, who is the minister of Gelato. He was the 16th son, so there's probably a Gelato or like a gelatin island somewhere. Uh, Smoothie, one of the other, the, the last week commander that I'm discussing here, uh, 14th daughter of the family, she is the minister of juice, so there's probably a juice island. And then finally we have Galette, who is the 18th daughter of the family and is the minister of butter, who is probably the minister over a butter island. So that, that's basically it. Those are the 25 islands that we're aware of so far in Totland. I actually got through that a lot quicker than I figured, uh, mostly because much of them we just don't know anything about. Um, I really want to do a part two of this video, but uh, I'm not going to do it if we only find out like one or two more islands. Um, if we ever get to the point where it's like, like, like I'm only going to make a part two once we find out like all of the other ones. Like if Oda decides to cut back to Totland at some point and just showcase the other islands that we haven't seen um, just out of interest, then I'll make another video explaining that. But for right now, that's all we know about Totland. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, talk about, like, other possible islands, the other ten remaining islands. We already wrote, uh, you know, a, a meat island and a pie island. There has to be a pie island. I mean, come on. Um, but also, you know, like, what, what would I prefer? I would prefer a, uh, a, a, a tea island. As you could always see when I'm making these videos, I always love to drink some some good old-fashioned Gallagher's brand iced tea. Gallagher's is something that's only, like, in my little area where I live, so you probably don't know the joy of this, but... Ah, oh, that's refreshing. That's some good iced tea right there. Uh, lemon is my favorite flavor, and I've always... I've always wondered, and, and watching Torico, it's always kind of inspired me. Somewhere out there in the world, there has to be a natural iced tea waterfall. You know, like like just a, a beautiful waterfall with different ponds filled with tea leaves and it naturally accents it. There's some lemon trees growing off to the side, like a naturally occurring iced tea waterfall. I will find it someday, sir. So that that's what I would, you know, ask for if I could design any one of the Totland Islands. That's something Oda could have even done. He he didn't do this, but he could have done like a like, hey, design one of the islands in Totland and I'll put it in the manga. That that would be pretty cool. Kinda like what they did in Toriko. Um aside from that, I think a um I think an Oreo island. I think a lot of people would be happy with Oreos. And hey, before you say copyright, Matt, you can't have an Oreo island in One Piece. Hey, what? D Pringles! Look, that these are Pringles! They're freaking Pringles! They're stacked chips in a can. You just didn't call them Pringles. But they're totally Pringles. I guess they could also be Lay's stacks, too. But no, they're definitely Pringles. Uh, but yeah, an Oreo island? You could have an Oreo island. Or just a cookie island, just in general. But, uh, yeah, maybe a, maybe a cereal island? 
S'mores? Yeah, I could keep this up all day, guys. I got a bunch of junk food just lined up ready to make jokes. All right, but I, I think I'm going to stop here. I think that's a good point. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's all of Totland. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments below on stuff that uh, you, you would like to see maybe in the future from the place. Um, who do you think is the ministers of certain islands? Maybe Charlotte family members that have already been introduced, but we just haven't, you know, we don't know what they're ministers of. Uh, you could talk about that. Um, but uh, out of all of this, everything we've discussed today, you know, you know what the sweetest part of Tauntland really is? The absolute sweetest. That's right, children. Smoothies butt. I think everyone will agree on that. Have a great night, everybody. Right, so as uh, you can clearly see from this highly detailed map of Totland that I've acquired, it is, it is just a goddamn slaughterhouse. I have no idea how the Straw Hats managed to make it out of here in one piece. Um, you know, first they had to navigate the Lollipop Palace and, and get past the Gumball King, and, and, and this guy, I mean, he has the blood of armies, like literal armies on his hands. Um, then they had to get through, um, is that freaking Elsa? They, they had to get through Elsa at the Frosted Palace, um, you know, force-feeding cream down their throat, so that's, uh, that's not good. Somehow made it past this, uh, this, um, diddler dude at the Licorice Lagoon. That gingerbread man looks adorable until you realize that he's eating the brains of children. And then they had to pass through Nana Nut. I'm not even gonna tell you what the crazy crap she's into. And then if you can make it past the freaky elf off to the side, the, the androgynous elf, then they could have finally made it past, is that a, is that a freaking frog? Whatever, it's, it's horrible, whatever it is. Then they could finally make it out, but, um, yeah, man, I, uh, I would not want to deal with this place even on my best day. This is, this is some top-level scary shit right here.